You are creating a program, a film program, a short film program that is structured, as far as I can tell, in a very innovative way, in a visionary way, in terms of how you're splitting it up. And I was wondering if you could talk about how you came up with that idea, because it's fascinating. It, it reflects the film industry, and I wanted to know how. James, it probably reflects the film industry more than it reflects the educational industry. And that's really what the difference is, and that's what throws people for a loop. I love teaching, and I've taught for a long time. I really care mostly about what the product is. We just had our screening on Saturday night. I was there. <laughs> you were there, and you saw that there's some pretty wonderful short films Absolutely. made by first-year filmmakers. Time was the biggest challenge. Always, always trying to get another shot in, always pressuring my DP. It was incredible to have access to people in the industry, and that goes for on set, our people we worked with, as well as our instructors. She didn't seem like a first-time director. What's important with a first with not a first-time director, any director, is her point of view, and she definitely had a strong point of view, and which is great, you know, and we collaborated really, really well. We only have so many months to get films ready. So right out of the gate, I said, start. Right. Start with what? Start with an idea. As soon as they're done with the writing, they start producing and they start casting. I've never cast, I don't know what, the, what how. I'll get you a casting agent. <laughs> they do the hard work, they get the people, and then you go interview. You're a deaf asshole. Who do you like better? Bob Barker or Bob this Barker? Lemonhead dude they have hosting now? Huh? Tubby guy they got hosting now. <laughs> What's his name? Do you speak Walla? <laughs> Same thing with directors of photography. Here, meet Chris. He's a director of photography. Show him your script. If he likes it, see if he'll shoot it for you. Be mad at your kids. They're just looking out for you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're just looking out for themselves. I, I figured from the get-go with Ed that this would not be a typical student film experience for me. Ed's a great filmmaker. And he'll go on to make a living, I'm sure, as, uh, as a director of cinema. And uh, so working on his project was very much like working on a professional set. That's the way it is with everything. Every aspect of filmmaking, you know, right down to wardrobe, to finding locations, to getting ready for this shoot. It's a course by which you don't learn and then do. Mm -hmm. You do and you learn as you do. It's my art. It doesn't belong to you. And this is the six years of my life. You know, I bust my ass every day to make sure you have a roof over your head and some food in your motherfucking belly. So goddamn ungrateful. When I went to the screening on Saturday, I saw 16 business cards. And out of those 16, there were a couple that I was like, I want to get that person's name. Right. And possibly work with them in the future or refer them to somebody. Uh, because they are talented. She left you, me, and the goddamn car in the driveway. Pull over. Omar, pull the fuck over. Are you a whore? Marie, Marie, Marie are you stop. screwing my father? I don't believe that's all Edward left. That's shameful. Well, I... I'm sorry, don't take this the wrong way. Because I, I love you, I do, but... I'm, I'm not... Uh, I don't really like sissy guys. Well, I'm a sissy boy? This is my job, and that's my money you're talking about. <laughs> Relax, man. <laughs> you're getting paid, too. Tell me, mentiroso, tu no mentiroso, all right? Fucking liar. I know your ass was out there gambling. Think I don't know about you and the shit that you do? The look of the films seem very professional, like professional level, industry level. I bring them young independent filmmakers, uh, uh, directors of photography. I bring them to the course, pair them up with the students, and the results were really quite fascinating. Yeah, making a film changes everyone's life. Yeah, I mean, making a film changes your life. I think it does. This was my first time, you know, really running the show. So, which, that experience is unmatchable anywhere else. It's very hard to get experience being a director unless you just do it. Now, there's a lot of first-year filmmakers that go into festivals all over the world. Um, but these films 
also could go into these festivals. They qualify. Uh, normally, I was doing things related to TV, but film, especially fiction, was a new thing for me. And I'd like to do new things, hopefully a future length in the future. The hardest part actually was after shooting because we were, I think we were all so high and so anxious before that and then afterwards, it's over in three days and then it, you say goodbye to you know, this crew that came together to help make your film. Sophie, you can, she totally knew what she was doing. She was really confident. I feel like she was actually easier to work with than other directors who are much more established. Now something happened that I didn't count on and it ended up being to their advantage is that they ended up fusing. They ended up working on each other's films. We all really formed these fast, comfortable, personal friendships. And um, I hope those things continue into the future. We started out as strangers, but uh, now we're friends and collaborators. This is like a mini studio. Yes. You're the executive producer. I'm the head of the studio, the real P-R-I-C-K. <laughs> right, that's, and most heads of studios are P-R-I-C-K. <laughs> and I'm the one that gives them the green light when their movie's ready to shoot. And I'm the one that when a push comes to shove, I say, no, that's got to go here and that's got to go there. Now, they can take their movie away from school and do anything they want. They own it. Mm -hmm. But while it's part of the studio, yeah. the, uh, I'm the one that'll have the final word. My favorite part is so, it's a really quick program that you can do something and you can show your abilities, your thoughts, your imagination, everything in just one year. I mean, other programs are like more than two years or three years, you know, so it's a quick and easy way to film. I teach them history of short films and also teach them filmmaking techniques in theoretical terms. It was exciting, it was innovating, it was exceptional. There's one constant. They finish the films and they're empowered. They produce something that had very little chance of being produced. Mm -hmm. They wrote something that they never realized they could, could write a story. And many times I have foreign students, international students who use a, who have a language. Kocam ekonomik şartları kolaylaştırıp faturaları ödemek için buraya taşındı. Fedakarlık yapmamız gerekiyor mu? But they become empowered. And it's not because they made a good film or a bad film, it's because they made the film. It's because they finished the film. That they, you know, they got screwed by the actors and actresses the last week said, I'm not going to do it. They get screwed by the location who says, you know what, I've had second thoughts, you can't shoot here. They get screwed by everybody along the way. They. So why am I in this class? What am I doing? I get pimples. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they do it. Yeah. They finish it. Right. I think the experience of making a first film is, has been successful. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll go and take it too much further physically. Okay. I yeah. think what they're going to most are going to do now is try and market the film. And, and the summer month uh, program is devoted to marketing. How many become filmmakers? I got a note today from a, somebody who just graduated. It was a really kind of emotional note. He said, you changed my life. I was on my way to being a fine artist. Mm. I took your class. You changed my life. He's now a filmmaker. He's now quite a good filmmaker. Mm. You know, that's not with everybody, but if you get one, two, each class, right. you know, you're turning out some good troops. You've got to find that way that you can please yourself. You must find something in each film that makes you happy and proud. Because there's nothing worse than spending eight, nine months on a movie mm -hmm. that you really don't like. <laughs>